In this video, I'm walking you through all the gear that I take to my lifestyle newborn sessions. Now, before we dive into the gear that I take to my lifestyle newborn sessions, I want to preface this by saying that I am not a believer that it's the gear that makes the photographer. For me, it's the photographer that makes the gear. I've seen some beautiful work done on entry level equipment, and I've seen some not so stellar work done on top of the line cameras. It really comes down to how you use the gear you have, how you create beautiful, consistent images and create your aesthetic, create your uh, preference in style. I just wanted to preface this video by saying that because I don't want you to feel like you don't have the right gear or enough gear. It really is not about that. I want to show you this video in case it's helpful for you to know what a eight years in lifestyle newborn professional photographer takes on location. First things first, I have my camera body. I'm shooting with the Canon R6. I've had this camera for a few years now. I'm honestly looking to upgrade. I would love to go to the R5, but I'm waiting for Canon to announce uh, their next new model, whatever it may be. Um, with my luck, I would buy the R5 today and then next week they would announce that they've upgraded it and revamped it and made it amazing. So I've been shooting with the R6 for several years now. I love it. Uh, most of the time you're going to find it with my 50 millimeter RF lens on the camera. This is what I use day to day in my studio. It's not my main on location lens and I'll show you that in a second. A couple things I do with my camera, I pretty much always leave my uh, buff trigger on. I use studio strobe a lot in my studio. I use it weekly. I just leave the trigger on so I don't lose it to be totally honest. And then the other thing I keep on my camera at all times is this little tripod attachment. I don't even use a tripod that often, but you know, you never know in case the need arrives. I wanna pop that bad boy right on and take my pictures on a tripod. All right, so I mentioned that I have the RF 50 millimeter 1.2 lens. That one's on my camera a lot for all of my studio work, all of my portrait work. On location, I take this guy. This is the RF 28 to 70 uh, F2 lens. I've added this one to my lineup just this year after deciding I wanted to upgrade to a wider angle RF lens. If Canon made an RF 35 that was in their top of the line um, with really nice wide aperture um, lineup, I would have gotten that model. They don't make that yet. Um, so I went with the 28 to 70. I've been super happy with this and realized that I actually need that widest angle a lot more often than I realized. I'm finding myself in really small rooms, really small nurseries, and that 28 millimeter focal length has come in clutch. Can't recommend this lens enough and the entire Canon RF lineup. Next thing I take with me to all of my on-location lifestyle newborn sessions is my secret weapon. This is my flash unit. Now, I know some of y'all might be cringing when I talk about flash. I was terrified of flash for a really long time. This thing is my ride or die. I'm obsessed with my flash. I don't go to a session without it. And I find I actually use it probably 80 to 90% of the time. Something always comes up, whether it's weather, I have rain, or I have a house that uh, it's a small window on the opposite side of the house is the sun when I happen to be shooting, or maybe it's a beautiful sunny day, perfect windows, except there's a giant tree shoved right up next to the window of the room that I happen to be working in. Flash is always here to save the day. I have the Canon 600 EX2 RT. Say that five times fast, I dare you. And then I have the corresponding transmitter. There are a lot of great options. I went Canon for this just because I'm a Canon girl through and through. It's what I grew up seeing my dad shoot on and I just became a Canon girl by default. There are a lot of great, really third-party affordable options. I'm gonna link some of them in the description of this video. And then you can also check out, I have a free downloadable guide that you can check out in the description of this video with a bunch of different options, whether you shoot Nikon, Canon, Sony. I've got some great flash unit options for you in there. Flash, you're never gonna see me without this at a lifestyle newborn session. Now, if we have flash at our session, we need something to put it on. So I always take this really simple, super affordable Amazon Basics tripod. I did buy a little attachment um, for the top of it to make it super duper easy and actually super secure and safe 
to mount to the top of the tripod. I'll link those down below as well. Um, but you can't go wrong with these little Amazon basic tripods. They come in a two pack. I'm actually recording this video on the second one that came in my two pack with a little iPhone mount on top. Now I'm not the tallest girl around. I'm about five, one and a half. My driver's license says five, two. So I'm just going to stick with that. Um, so I do bring a step stool with me. This is a really small one step step stool that I find I actually use all the time. Look, it's a tiny little guy, nothing super huge, but it does help me get the little boost I need to get much more flattering angles of moms and dads. Sometimes I get a really tall dad and it's the boost that I need to come really high with my camera. Um, and get a much more flattering angle and I'm not shooting up at them. We all know that's not gonna create a really nice situation down here. We wanna shoot from high up above, slightly angled down. So this is the little boost that I need. This also helps with those shots kind of peeping over the crib. Again, if I were like 5'10", I probably wouldn't take this with me, but I'm not um, and that's okay. So I take my little step stool everywhere I go. A few other important items I don't want to forget that are always in my bag. I always have extra memory cards. I always shoot dual slot. So I am making a copy of the image. The second I take the image, put it on my hard drive so that I have three copies of the image and I save them till I deliver. I'm very paranoid about keeping those images safe until delivery. So I always have extra memory cards in case one fails mid shoot, I can pop a new one in. I also take a ton of batteries. As someone that shoots with flash, I wanna keep my batteries fresh to keep a nice recycle time, keep my camera and my flash unit talking to each other. Can't go wrong with a ton of batteries in your camera bag. Lastly, I have to transport all this gear somehow. So I bring ugh, this guy, my big old camera bag. I love a back backpack style camera bag so that I can carry this guy in and have my stool in one hand, my light in the other, and I am ready to go. Now that I've talked through what I do take to a lifestyle newborn session in a client's home, let's talk about what I don't take. I don't bring any wraps, props, swaddles, anything like that. I'm not a prop girl in general. I have a very simple, natural style. Um, I use simple white blankets in my studio, but for on location, I actually don't bring any of those unless a client specifically asks for me to do so. My theory with an in-home session as a photographer who offers a studio option and an in-home lifestyle option is that the in-home lifestyle option should really be a reflection of them, their story, their home, and the items that they have that are special to them as the backdrop of their session. If they wanted something a little more refined, they could choose the studio, but they choose their home. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the items that they have to create a session that really tells their story. That's a wrap on everything I take to an on-location lifestyle newborn session. There is a link in the description box below for a free PDF that lists all these if you'd like all my recommendations in one place. You'll also see all these individual items linked in the description box. Um, I would love to hear from you if there's something that I take that surprised you or something that I don't take that surprised you. Drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear it and I can't wait to share more with you soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I can't wait to share my next video with more lighting and lifestyle newborn business tips.